Right, welcome to another video from Dr. Lock. We're going to have a quick look at the Hassa Abloy Lockwood 3572. This is a commercial grade lock or mortise lock that is used on uh, unit doors, hospitals, offices, shops, things like that. We've just added it to our website, so now we'll just give you a quick look at what's involved. You have the instructions which tell you how the door can be handed, how you can change the functions of the locks and things like that. They're all basically your instructions. It goes through to say um, how to make one side locked and unlocked. It also tells you which way to turn the part inside the lock to allow for that. Escape is so that the door from the inside can be pushed the handle down and you can, re and you can walk out. Locked means from the outside the handle won't be able to unlock the lock. You need to use the key. There's various cams which are uh, with this particular lock. Um, they're not included. They come with the cylinder. So you do need to know what type of cam, which type of function you want. Once again, uh, this is your cylinder retainer. This is an adapter cam allowing you to have a turn snip on the inside. Uh, the instructions are quite good. They also go through the fitting instructions. With any mortise lock, you actually have to carve all this out to get the lock in. It is a 60mm back set. So basically from here to the door to the middle, you, you draw a line. That's 60mm from there to there. Same with the cylinder, 60mm again. That's quite common with most mortise locks. You get the uh, instructions or the guarantee. This does have a, a four-hour fire rating on it as well. Uh, stainless steel strike. Stainless steel there. Coming through here. Comes with the probably best I leave it there. Two spindles. Two spindles for your handles. Two springs. Uh, the spring goes on this side, and this part connects to here, and the spring side connects to the handle or goes inside the handle to push this part forward. These are your cylinder retainers. You put your cylinder in here, and then you slide that pin in from the side. All that's covered on the instructions. The various other pins and screws, or mainly just screws you have in there, are for the faceplate uh, to hold the lock body in place. And that's pretty much all you need to know about them. That's your striker cage. That can get fitted underneath so that that can go in just like that. Sometimes it's useful, sometimes it's not needed, depending on where you're installing it. The actual lock itself, okay, there's a good look at it. If you've got a left-handed door, you just put it in like that. If you've got a right-handed door, you can simply swing the bolt around to make it a right-handed lock. On the inside here, you've got your option here to adjust which way, which side you want escape and which side you want locked. Okay. You've also got this side as well, which you can reverse as well. So you can select which side is which. The important thing about this lock is to get handles which suit. Um, these particular uh, one has the diagonal stud pattern, which is quite interesting. Some locks have the side by side. There is another two holes here, but I'm pretty sure they're not for handles. Pretty sure you've got that side and that side. So, oh no, there's something in there. Pretty sure one and two, or you can use these two as well. So depending on your handles, you do have to get the correct type of handles because it does have to go straight through the lock body and the lock body still has to operate perfectly. So we've got some matching handles on our website so we can line them all up for you. Under here is where your cylinder goes. This is just a standard um, standard type of uh, 5, 570 cylinder. That goes in there and is retained by this screw along here. These cylinders are quite common and interchangeable, so there's no problem there. The most important thing is that you pick the selected cam that you want on the back of the lock. I'll give you a quick example of one right here. This particular cam here is um, a lock and unlock. So when that's put in there, it's going to lock and unlock the, the locking bar. So just simply pop that in there, turn it round, and you can hear a click. Lock unlock. So that's locking and unlocking the cam bar. There's different names, different sizes and, and different functions. This is the part that does all that. So that's the 3572 full body mortise lock. Uh, the only thing I haven't shown you here is the face plate. It simply goes over the top. You would drill out your door, fit that in, put your two screws in, put that over the top, put your two uh, face plate screws in and away you go. Apart from handles and a cylinder, that's about all there is uh, to this lock. There is another lock as well that we sell, which is the Carver MS2. Both are quite compatible. Both are used in very similar uh, situations, commercial grade units and things like that. 
If you do wish to order bulk order, please email us. If you do have questions about what type of uh, cam you should use and things like that, and you purchase a lock from us, we'll be most happy to help you. Anything more than that, please email, and thanks for watching.